Hello everybody, I'm Suman Matthews and today we'll be discussing properties of logarithms. This is a part of the Natter Mathematics exam. And this is useful for students learning calculus and students preparing for the Natter eligibility test. Uh, do subscribe to my channel or visit my page and you can contact me for any help in Natter Mathematics. How do you apply properties of logarithms to problems in calculus? So in this video we will be discussing the basic properties of logarithms, the change of base formula and use of logarithm in limits. Now log a to the base b equal to c implies b raised to c equal to a. Now in normal problems we assume the base is e and when the base is e, it is a natural logarithm denoted by ln. If y equal to a raised to m, we write m equal to log y to the base e or a raised to m equal to y. Now log 2 is same as log 2 to the base e. That is if not mentioned, we assume the base is e. Log a to the base a is 1. So any number to the same base, the log is 1. Then we have the multiplication and the division rule log a b is log a plus log b log a by b is log a minus log b then we have the exponent rule that is log a raised to m is m log a and log 1 is 0. Coming to question 1 evaluate log 30 to the base 10 log 50 to the base 10 and log 1000 to the base 10. Log 30 to the base 10 is log 3 into 10 to the base 10. That is log 3 to the base 10 plus log 10 to the base 10. This is 1. So this is 1 plus log 3 to the base 10. Log 1000 to the base 10 is log 10 cubed to the base 10. That is 3 log 10 to the base 10. That is 3. Log 50 to the base 10 is log 100 by 2 to the base 10. That is log 100 to the base 10 minus log 2 to the base 10. 100 is 10 squared. So it is log 10 squared to the base 10 and this becomes 2 log 10 to the base 10 which is 2 that is 2 minus log 2 to the base 10. You can if you think in, you can. So if you think you can succeed in maths you can. Change of base formula says that log x to the base e is log x to the base a by log b to the base a. It doesn't matter which standard base you use. For example, log 6 to the base 3 is log 6 by log 3. Coming to questions, evaluate log 32 to the base 16. That is log 32 to the base 2 by log 16 to the base 2. We are taking the base 2 here. That is log 2 raised to 5 to the base 2 by log 2 raised to 4 to the base 2, which is 5 by 4 because of this property that... Uh, log m raised to a to the base n raised to b is a by b log m to the base n. So this becomes 5 by 4 log 2 to the base 2 by log 2 to the base 2 which is 1. So 5 by 4 into 1 is 5 by 4. Question 3. Evaluate log root 8 by log 8. That is log 8 raised to half by log 8 which is half log 8 by log 8 that is half. Visualize success and you will succeed. If log 27 equal to 1.431, evaluate log 9. Log 3 cubed is 1.431. So 3 log 3 is 1.431. Or log 3 is 1.431 by 3 that is 0 0.477. Now log 9 is log 3 squared that is 2 log 3. That is 2 into 0 0.477 which is 0 0.954. No. Again coming to a solving problem, solve log x to the base 2 plus log x to the base 4 plus log x to the base 16 equal to 7. That means we need to find x. So we can write it as log x to the base 2 plus log x to the base 2 squared plus log x to the base 2 raised to 4 is 7. So this is log x to the base 2 plus half log x to the base 2 plus 1 by 4 log x to the base 2 is 7. We are making use of the fact that log a raised to m by b raised to n is m by n log a to the base b. So this is log x to the base 2. This I can write as log x to the base 2 raised to half plus log x to the base 2 raised to 1 by 4 is 7. Making use of the multiplication rule we get log of x into x raised to half into x raised to 1 by 4 is 7. 
or log of x raised to 1 plus half plus 1 by 4. 7 by 4 to the base 2 is 7 or x raised to 7 by 4 is 2 by 7. So we want to find x. So taking the 4th by 7th power, we get x equal to 2 raised to 4 which is 16. Genius is an uncommon aptitude for hard work. You don't have to be clever to be a genius. You just have to be hard working. Coming to certain properties. e raised to x log a is e raised to log a raised to x. The base is e here so it becomes a raised to x. For example e raised to log 5 squared. The base is e so it is 5 squared which is 25. e raised to log x again the base is e so it is x e raised to log 10, again the base is e which is 10. We are making use of the fact that if nothing is mentioned, we take the base as e. e raised to log x to the base, a raised to log x to the base c. The base is a here and so is the base a here, so this is x. For example, a raised to log 5 to the base c. The base is same here, so it is 5. Now limit is x tending to 0, 1 plus x whole raised to 1 by x equal to e. This is a property of limits very useful in calculus. Limit is x tending to 0, e raised to x minus 1 by x is e. As a corollary to that, we get limit as x tending to 0, e raised to x minus 1 by x is log e. So limit is x tending to 0, 2 raised to x minus 1 by x becomes log 2. So we have learned how to look at the basic properties of logarithms and how to use them in formulae, problems involving the change of base formula and use of logarithms in limits and exponents. So do subscribe to my channel or visit my page. You can contact me for any help in natural mathematics. Thank you for watching.